What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Bar Brigade Talk Show. I'm Nadim. I'm Bart. I'm Mike. And today for the question, or this is something that I wanted to bring up because I'm kind of getting into it now. More aspects Porno? besides... How do you know? I will porn stash right there. Like in it? Like as a as a creator? You want to be a, a porn creator? Cameraman. I don't director. think you can probably oh. get paid much. A porn influencer? No, dude. We've had members that... Literally the, the biggest uh, yeah. porn director... Well, he, he, at, you're the biggest anything you get paid well. What about the normal guy? I think it's pretty good. I heard it's not that good. I heard really? if you're a dude, you have to get butt fucked like crazy before you even get. Yeah, to yeah. I think you have to go to the homosexual. Okay, that's what I heard. With yeah. my skills, I mean, they might not be the best. As a lover or a filmmaker? Filmmaker and creating a lover. the best porns. I bet you're a great lover. I probably am. Yeah. Hey, ladies, hit them up. <laughs> All right. Uh, Amazing the, lover and uh, filmmaker. What's the real question? I want here. to know. How do you maintain yourself in the fitness industry? Because you guys have do been mean? doing it. Oof. You guys have been in the fitness industry, in the limelight, and on camera, on on social media for like the longest time. Yeah. But I've seen so many people come, they get huge, and then they die off. They come, they get like a huge amount of subscribers, and they get like 5,000 views. You know what it is? How? You just don't grow. So like me and Mike, <laughs> we don't grow very fast. Yeah. And so it's easy. So we don't really. I don't, do. We don't, you, can't so really saying, a, you can't be a has been if you never has a has. Yeah, I'm like an okay been. Yeah, we've and I'm never had an okay been. I kind of do agree. I think he's joking, but he's not. Like slow growth on anything. Like it's very cool to light my hair on fire and deadlift 500 pounds. <laughs> yeah, um, that'd be tight. You should do it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool because there's like a acting fire, right? Like that doesn't burn your skin or something. No. Yeah. Well, they put like a gel on. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, yeah, yeah. We should do that. And you only got a couple of like seconds to flame on. Whoosh, and then go deadlift. That'd be tight. It would be. Uh, but yeah, if you just that was your up, best idea I've ever heard from you. That's a lie. I have a lot of great no, ideas. His, his ideas are Delph in a red Power Ranger suit. <laughs> that crushed <laughs> it. Ah, yeah. Delph in it. a pink Power Ranger suit. That wasn't yeah. me. The or dance, dance at the af- lift and then dance afterwards. <laughs> it, hey, he's a good dancer though. He's you know, really you play dancer. to your strengths. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think longevity, uh, and then I also think always evolving, and that's something I've always looked to Bart uh, and, and myself. You know, like YouTube's cool; it's still here, but uh, I think Twitch is the next thing. So I'm on Twitch. Uh, Instagram was cool to do a lot of uh, just motivational stuff, and then now. You know who knows what it is but at some point it was good for instructional stuff and then whatever and you just kind of evolve with the game while still sticking to your guns and being yourself and for me uh i think and bart and and a lot of our our close friends luckily um that we are unique and self-aware enough to be ourselves and being yourself will stick out in the long run if you have what people want to watch yeah uh and i'm lucky in that sense i guess think my parents and and other people that i I just am who i am and i'm confident being who i am rather than trying to fit in with this flock that are doing whatever ass shots or burning their hair and so then you go and do that and then when that's not cool anymore you gotta find somebody else to copy and then you're gonna go 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 and do that rather than like i really enjoy conversations i think i can hold a decent conversation i think i'm decent at interviews so i do that on podcasts twitch whatever and so then we can do this long term I can talk to anybody that's what my talent is and I kind of play to my strengths um, while sticking to my my who I am yeah, yeah. I actually felt it on both sides like for JK like uh, I mean we, we've had friends that grew super fast and then they kind of disappear off the face of the earth and for JK just like barbell we didn't really have that couple of videos that just brought the overnight success into like the millions but because of that, we've had longevity and we've had like diehard fans that really love us for who we are. And of course, we're aware of like certain tricks that we can do, like if we cuss less sure. mm-hmm. or if we uh, filtered ourselves a little bit more, if we did more of like the trending things, like fill up our cars with jelly beans or shit like that. Like we, we that's know. That's your best idea? You're making fun of my ideas? No, like that's, that's what goes viral. That's what goes viral. Like people fill up their Range Rovers full of popcorn or something. Like we know what we're aware of it. But uh, instead of sticking to the trends, I think we stick to ourselves. And because of that, uh, it grows quality. Yeah, it grows quality. And when we grow, like every new subscriber or follower that we get, we earn them and they stick around longer versus like, let's say if you're the person setting ourselves on fire, doing a deadlift, you have all those fans. And then now you're not even fans. Yeah, they're not fans. They're just just follow you. And then you have to do the next crazy thing. Like what other fire whatever you have to do and if you don't and you all of a sudden you post a picture of like you just eating oh this is my favorite thing i like to eat which yeah, is yeah. cookies they're like what the fuck is this bullshit or your podcast you got nothing to say yeah and they, no torches around now, now they unfollow you yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. well it's basically you either like burn out 
before you fail or you just fail like the people die off and then like you want to switch it but you can't like literally you're 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 what do they call it like typecast it yeah, yeah yeah just doing this and or like, if the success comes too easy you're so used to a certain rate like if you're so used to getting a thousand followers a day then the day that you start getting a hundred followers a day which is still really good yeah you think your life's over yeah. and then it's it's easy to get in like a depressive state when you're like oh yeah, shit sure. and yeah. the burnout uh, yeah. like Nad said like whether you if you, yeah if you're going to do the next extreme trick or you're going to what are you going to do with your land rover after it smells like jelly beans for a month like what are you going to do next you're going to light that bitch on fire i don't know why fire just seems viral but it's fun. You just, yeah you just do whatever rather than like no i enjoy the process of conversation i enjoy the process of uh creating comedy skits i enjoy the process of filmmaking i enjoy the process of whatever yeah. and then i'm just going to stick to that for long term and you find a balance within your own life and your work schedule where then if you're viral you don't have a work schedule because you didn't work for virality you just and it's, maybe some people did for sure but in general like oh i did this cool thing and it blow up well not, you don't have a schedule like I, I film every friday like that's my schedule I, I you know i stream every sunday through thursday that's my schedule i podcast every wednesday that's my schedule because it is a job yeah because i have longevity yeah yeah i think it's uh, the main thing about like building quality because like for me i had the video that got like a million like easy and then i put like was putting out other content i was like damn that views were dope right yeah yeah so i went to and i did the same exact video just a little bit different i, I cooked a dollar store steak again that one hit like 200 or 300 thousand immediately right but then it was just like it didn't feel good and like it made a shit ton of money but it just didn't feel good now and, and it just made me want to stop doing youtube yeah. in general but like because i could how come it didn't feel good uh, the money felt good, the views felt good, but then it was just like it wasn't putting on content that I wanted. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't want to eat rubbery steak or promote rubbery steak. Yeah, and then uh, in the video, I, I had like a little saying because I kept calling it dollar store, uh, dollar steak, steak instead of dollar store steak. Oh. Um, and that caught on, and like I had like over a thousand comments of that, and that bled into everything else. And I didn't want, and I started seeing myself being known as a the dollar steak, steak, steak. Guy. I'm gonna call uh, steak, guy. steak now. And I was like, dude, I could make this huge, and people were like, dude, make shirts of that, yeah, make this. And I'm just steak, like, steak what the fuck, I don't want, I don't want this shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah, want to yeah. be a filmmaker. It's not something. It's, like, it's not a brand. It's not you. Yeah, and it's like you okay. turn into a circus act. I call it. Yeah, I don't like that either. People, yeah. And it's just I like it. that was the monkey juggling the balls. Yeah, it was like it was like that wasn't feeling good. And it's just like one thing I did like where. Like on the Barbo channel, we don't get the most amount of views. We get like uh, fifty to hundred thousand, which is pretty dope. Like you guys, like all, all, overall, we're not like considered the the epitome of YouTube. Right? In, it, we in get, the scheme of things, yeah, yeah, we have a good upload uh, uh, um, uh, system, consi uh, consistency. consistency yeah. uh, we haven't fell off like a lot of people do. We don't get burnt out. Uh, we do the stuff that we want to do, so we're having fun with it. Um, and it's all work. It's hard and stuff. But when we go to expos everyone knows us yeah you know we when we touch people and people come up to us and they're like oh you're literally like the exact same people online you know yeah tsa hit me today i, I wore the hoodie through the uh uh whatever the scan machine Metal, oh, the scan yeah machine, and so yeah. like oh we got to grab the we have to patch you down and dude's pat me and i was like barber brigade good channel yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's high. laughs> and then he looks at the other tsa she's like what's that he's like good channel yeah, <laughs> and yeah. i just left oh, awesome. i didn't know if he knew who i was or not but i kind of just smiled and left yeah like, yeah yeah brother good and it's cool it, it's awesome. just like i think you people that come and pass by even they just know us and like oh they're dope yeah um and they're kind of like here and there right where other people it's like oh i'm a fan of this guy and then they switch i'm a fan of this yeah, guy yeah, 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 uh, but yeah. for us it's like he's got better abs now i like him better yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like we never do anything stupid because we know what's stupid what's yeah. not and w w if we do we own up to shit like just immediately or it's like this is how i am you well, know? that's the true authenticity of it all and that's where like i like youtube and stuff still but like it, everything's becoming so commercial the reason youtube became what it was or podcast became what they are is because of the authenticity and organic growth that any human can have and you can yeah. find that human relation yeah where now like companies cnn and all these things are buying into youtube they're buying into podcasts they're buying advertisement on their products or on their content it's on those products yeah. so it's so commercial that con human connection miss that's why people left television to grab this human connection and yeah. then now we're over here trying to find this human connection on even instagram it's so it's so plastic now and people are stuck now uh, the plastic just followed them when we were trying to get away from it. So like, hopefully there's still some very genuine podcasts. There's some very genuine YouTube. I think there's some live streams out well, there. It's hard not to be. I feel like, well, you get the people that can edit everything. Yeah. You can edit your life. You can fabricate, you can cut out the bad. But with the podcast, it's literally just like, say like an hour of straight talking. Yeah, it's difficult. How long could you hold that conversation with or someone? Fakeness. Or Yeah. Like how long can yeah, you hold that? That's, that's why honestly attention? live streaming and podcasts are my two favorite mediums mm. because you can, you, you, you find out who's real or not. And you find out if I like people to deserve their success.
I like to give honest compliments. I like to be authentic and excited for people, whether I tell them or not. I'm excited for my friends or even my network or people that I see on the internet that are crushing it, and I think they deserve it, whether it's through talent, hard work, even a little bit of luck. We all have a little bit of luck in what we do. I love that. I love seeing that. Yeah. What ruffles my feathers a little bit is the virality. Uh, and I think everyone can agree because I put in the time and I put in the work and I want people to deserve their success because I know for them, whether they know it or not, they're not going to be fulfilled either. Kind of yeah. like you said, I don't mind the virality if I know it's true to them. Agreed. agreed. So for example, yeah. uh, like a, a Harley from Epic Mealtime, yeah, yeah, yeah. like when they first came on board i was dying at every yeah. single video but it was, it was hit after hit yeah he i was crushed like bacon it. and more bacon and they, had, yeah. and, they had, yeah. and they had like the calorie counter yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's just who he is drink whiskey goes up bacon. to yeah can i get a hundred big macs and mcdonald's like a hundred yeah like it's amazing yeah so yeah. like that to me it's awesome because i know it's it's him being him and if it got zero views, yeah, he like he wouldn't out. care. Like he wanted to take this approach to making food, which I think is fucking awesome. I think what's sad are when people they they want to be viral for the sake of being viral. So now they're just kind of like twiddling their right. thumbs and thinking about the next content, and they don't even. Well, might not even be the next content. It's like let me copy this guy, right? Yeah. And, and I don't think and they're, they're going to be want to make that content. They're yeah. not going to make it, and even if it goes uh, mega viral, and like you said, like yeah, the money kind of felt good, and this isn't you because you've made a lot of great films behind the scenes and in front of the scenes, but use you hypothetically mm -hmm. uh the money felt good the views kind of felt good but then it went away yeah. rather than if you doing what you love every single day and you're grinding out and being your authentic true self over and over and over you're always going to feel good like and it's it's me weird. getting more views does feel good than not getting yeah. more views but i'm still pretty happy with what i'm doing either way yeah like i, I wish it in a sense it didn't happen because i gained like around like five thousand subscribers that don't watch any of my other shit right now. right uh, and it just like i'd rather have a hundred thousand subscribers and 100,000 views compared to a billion yeah. subscribers and 10,000 views. And you, you want people I mean? to be down with what you want to make. Like, hey, bro, I think this is cool. Come watch if you think this is cool. I'd rather have those people as well. Because yeah. like, we kind of talked about it the other day where I was asking you, like, I want to do so many things, but I don't want to get, like, like you're, you're saying you, like, what were we talking about in terms of, uh, like, I think you were asking me about, like, uh, building out your brand and what your branding should be. And then like I was building out me, uh, building out him. So I was telling Nads, I was like, Joe Rogan, I think, is a really great example. Like, he, he does his podcast, he does his stand-up comedy, and he does his UFC commentary. Yeah. He's super into archery and hunting, right. super into shooting pool, super into jujitsu. but those th other three things are, I think, more sacred to them, and he doesn't really make them public. He, it bleeds into his other platforms, sure. but he's not really posting all, like, six, seven, eight, nine things. He's just doing those three, and I think because of that, those three things grow more. Yeah, yeah. For me, on my Instagram, I post anything and everything that's important to my life, so for people in terms of branding and digestion, it is harder. Like wait, one one it's like his kid, and now he's in like lifting, and yeah, then now, now it's his car. Yeah, now it's his car. So I don't grow as fast, but those are things that are honest to me, and I'm capturing moments that are enjoyable in my life. So I don't I won't grow as fast, but I'm happier doing that. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm like with all my content now. Like on YouTube, I want to talk about what I want to talk about with the podcast. I want to do it with who I want to do it with, and on Instagram, I'm gonna post whatever the hell I want to post. Like yeah. if you like it, cool. I don't I don't need your double tap. Like it's cool. Uh, you know the longevity of the thing. I know I'll last. I'm transforming onto different platforms that'll be there and I have a crew and I have good friends that, that believe in me and I'm just going to keep going and, and whether you, you know yes you can look it's hard to look at things how you want to do them opposed to maybe a business because they don't always line up and the branding is how that goes like you kind of talk about Rogan whether his is thought out or not I don't know but because he kind of had a head start with TV but you have to draw a line whether hey this I'm just going to be me 100% or I'm going to brand and kind of market and turn myself into a business uh, and what percent on the spectrum you're going to be. And I'm just happier as a human daily life being probably 90% me and 10% uh, try to play the game. Yeah. And, but I think it's like, we, like everyone sees like, Oh, I need to get to this level. They go for the viral stuff, but they look at the people that have put in the work. Like Joe Rogan has been doing, this is like a thousand yeah, one hundred yeah, yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing it for ten years. He's like been on TV for like twenty years. Yeah, yeah. comedy and for another that, twenty. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like uh, people see the end goal and they're just like, I want that now. Sure. And it's like, if they want that, go ahead. Like, if and you they forget it. he's fifty years old too. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, you you can have fun with the whole process and grow slowly, but like if you grow slow, it will last longer for sure. Um, and just have fun with it because the whole process, like you're making videos, you're interacting with people, you're having fun, you're doing what you want to do compared to slaving away just to get that view, getting these people that you don't like, uh, people knowing you for something you don't want. And at the end of the day, you have nothing to show for it besides money and thing. Because at the end of the day, yeah, it's dope to have money, but you could get that other ways doing the stuff you wanted to do too. Right. And a little bit less money for being more of you is what I would recommend. Yeah. yeah.
yeah well hope you guys like that episode if you guys want to see more leave in the comments below if anything you guys want to ask us any questions you guys have for us uh make sure to like and subscribe check these guys out and uh, we'll see you guys next time check these fucking things out. subscribe can you put that put that up to the mic oh you hear that i'm so small my bicep is so small that's what i imagine they sound like <laughs>